I'm ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer, and I'm taking you inside the numbers on the final results in the razor thin Democratic primary in Congressional District 3. Uh, so it's not just a saying every vote counts a judge unsealing the recount envelope and declaring Yasmin Ansari the winner of the Democratic primary for Congressional District 3, beating Raquel Turan by only 39 votes, a difference of three votes from the original count. The state will soon publish online the exact reason for that discrepancy. Congressional District 3 typically votes over 20 points more Democratic compared to Arizona as a whole. So this means that it is extremely, extremely likely that I'm sorry will end up as District 3's con Congresswoman. And by the way, the district has had uh, only two congressmen, excuse me, since 1991. That's Ed Pastor until 2015 and Ruben Gallego up to January of next year. Uh, District 3 covers Central Phoenix from the Loop 101 in the west to Sky Harbor in the east from Glendale Avenue in the north to South Mountain in the south. Ansari and Tehran split the district roughly evenly uh, with Ansari winning the precincts in the southwest and Tehran the northeast. And, and those sections of the district are very different. Uh, both vote for Democratic uh, Democratic candidates by about 50 points, but on Sari's side of the district, a little less so. It's also slightly less Hispanic and has a higher household income and home ownership rate, as well as a lower poverty rate. Uh, the overall district is changing as well. It's becoming even more Hispanic, has a higher household income. Uh, office and sales jobs are declining, but higher paying business and finance jobs are increasing along with most other categories. The number of uninsured uh, individuals, it remained roughly the same between 2014 and 2022. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.